Today I'm going to show how to make an art journal using magazines. So we're going to upcycle some magazines that you would be ready to uh, throw away or magazines that you got from maybe a doctor's office or from a thrift shop and we're going to turn it into this fun art journal to play in. Um, there are a lot of videos on YouTube. You can look up how to make an art journal out of magazines. I think about three years ago I started doing this from watching uh, Dee Dee Williams video. There are a lot of other videos but one thing I've noticed when I look through them all is everybody kind of has a different take on how they do it, what they use it for. So I thought I would show you mine and how to put it together and then what I use mine for and maybe it'll inspire you to do the same. Okay so this one here is really nice and thick and it is made with three magazines. I think when you put it on the side you can see that there's one, two, three magazines put together. The end is covered in a duct tape and then the magazines are put together, glued together, cover to cover. So what I mean by that is you can take some magazines and they do have to be of the same size. So like these two, they're the same height but they're not the same length. So you could take a really sharp um, a really sharp box cutter or exacto. You could put this on a cutting mat with a ruler. You could cut this magazine down. I have done that to make them the same. For me personally, I have found that that's really hard. It's difficult to do to try to make them the same. I get annoyed by the uneven edges. I like my edges to be nice and smooth and come together and, and look cohesive. So best to start with magazines that are of the same size. Right now I don't have any to show you, but I am going to just show you the, the concept. So pretend that these are the same size and you are ready to put them together. What you would do is you would go to these covers and you would put a layer of glue. Um, some of the videos show glue stick. I personally didn't like the way glue stick was. It didn't hold very well because the pages are slick. Um, Uhu glue sticks are pretty expensive and you go through a ton of it to glue stick this together. So for me, I found that um, using an Aileen's Tacky Glue, Aileen's Tacky Glue, really inexpensive that you can get at your hobby local hobby store or even here in the United States Walmart carries it dollar stores even carry it so it's really easy to find this and I would put it all around the edge and then throughout the middle and then take a credit card a plastic card and drag that down so you get a really perfect thin nice layer of glue if you leave the little uh, drawn on pieces of glue it will show through you know when you glue two things together you see that line so that's why it would be good to take your card and drag it through and then you're going to line up your magazines like this and then I clamp them so I take a clamp and once the glue is cover to cover I clamp them together and let them dry so I just leave them like that Make sure that they're really good and tight and really nice and straight. And you can put two together, you can put three together, you can put four together. You can do whatever you want. This one is three. It's super thick and I love it. I like that. Two is nice. It'd be nice to work in. Not too terribly thick, not too heavy. Again, make sure they're the same size. Once it dries, then remove your clips and then I take duct tape and I duct tape over this entire spine. You could use gaffer tape. Um, it's cloth tape that would be nice and strong and uh, easy to paint over. I used a pattern duct tape on the end and then you just burnish it down really really good and that's just for stability. It's just to keep it nice and strong. And then I covered mine in scrapbook paper so I glued some scrapbook paper to the covers just to make them have nice thick covers and this was an art journaling magazine and I loved what was on it so I added to it and collaged onto this cover. I added some paint and all kinds of things and just decorated it to make it my cover and have it say art journaling because that's what I like to do in here. So that's how you do it. That's how you put them together 
And then what you do on the inside, let me show you some of what I have done. Here is a magazine page. And I've covered the background with paint. So acrylic paint and a brush. I added this girl from a magazine, collaged her on. I put the words, uh, share your uniqueness with the world. I just did some doodling. I just love that image. On things like this, this whole background was the magazine page. And I used paint, just cheap, inexpensive acrylic paints, 50 cents a piece from my local Walmart and just a regular brush. And I just covered up that background so that I wouldn't see the typical magazine stuff. So here's your magazine page and you don't like it, cover it with acrylic paint. So here's how I did that, was just to brush it on in different colors, not all one solid. I did black and yellow ochre and blue. And then over here, same thing. I did a collage to make this cute butterfly girl. Then I used my Posca pen to put, how do you expect, how do you expect life to smile back if you don't smile at it first? And so I used some letters from a magazine to make the word first. I used my Posca pen to write these letters. I collaged her, I drew around her and just made it really fun. Then on this side, I used my Posca pen to just do journaling. So journal, personal journaling to myself is on that page. So you kind of just come in here and play. Here's another one. Threw in some backgrounds. This had, these girls were in a vegetable ad. Look at their outfits. They're like apples make the dress and shredded zucchini and kale. And I just thought those girls were just too adorable. So I just collaged them down and did a you are what you eat, so make healthy choices. Um, I did this in 2017. I also take a little date stamp, and whenever I do a page in my book, I date it, and I always triplic do it in triplicate. I just like that look where you do the first image and then move it up twice so that it gets lighter and lighter. So October 30th of 2017, I did this page about making healthier choices and I love the girls in their outfit. I did a background border and just colored it in with my Posca pens. Here's another one, blue. Look at that blue background with acrylic paints. Just taking that paint and some darker paint and smearing it across. It looks like a sky. I put this little girl that's an angel and then I put the little girl in me will never stop wishing on falling stars. And so that was my that was my message to myself that day and I journaled again with my Posca pen. So this is what I use mine for. It's it's to journal in. I do art in it, I do journaling in it. I can use it as a glue book. So say you went to the movies and you have movie tickets, you can glue them in with the date and talk about the movie you went to see. I've added a feather and all kinds of things. You can use napkins in here and Mod Podge. It, it doesn't matter. And it's magazine pages. So when you put paint and stuff on them, they just get thick and nice. They do tend to have a little bit of a wrinkle to them, but I love that texture. I love the feel of them. So it doesn't bother me a bit. So this is what I do. Here's another one. Bloom Where You Are Planted. That girl came out of a Vogue magazine. I did the petals around her with some scrapbook paper and Mod Podged them down or glued them down. I did some pen work around her eyes, made Zentangle braids, and then used my Posca pen to put the bloom where you're planted. And the background, I didn't like the, the words, you know, obviously the words from the page, so I painted it black, let it dry, and then Posca painted the title on it. So that's some of the neat things, look at this cute one. These bugs were already on the page. It was in an art journal magazine and so I did my little faces, my flower faces and their scrapbook paper and I glued them in with the bugs and just left that Beatlemania title. It's just cute, it's just fun. You just play in it. This was 
um, a neat king that I had and I journaled about random acts of kindness. And this one, I left some of the background. This was a, I believe that this magazine was about quilting and the backgrounds were really cool. So I took the words out, I painted over the words, I left the photographs in as a background and then I painted on this. I painted that octopus. I did a cool girl with a, a black spice rum bottle and said search for your hidden treasure and I did a little treasure box down here and look at that fun journal page isn't that cool it's just it's just fun it's getting in here and doing collage the the girl is a magazine image that I've cut out and I've pieced things together to make her into a collage girl but the other thing that you can do you can use a single magazine. Vogue's are really thick. So just get a Vogue magazine. Put some duct tape over the end or some gaffer tape over the end just for stability in it. And again, just start decorating it. Use it as your journal. It's already got some cool fold outs. So here's a three page fold out layout that you could do right in this magazine. Leave those in and go to town. And the fun thing about using a Vogue is you can take the image that's in here, like you can take these three girls, and you could paint the background, you could add some fairy wings to them, you could change up their outfits or add some jewels and some things to their outfits. So you can use the image that's on the page as your basic image. You could take and collage and put hats on all of the girls. You could do whatever you want, but you do it right on the page. If you didn't like this page next to it, Paint it solid, paint it with a bunch of different colors of acrylic paint and use it for journaling with your Posca pen. So you could make angels and have three angels over here and then journal about needing your angels to come visit you that week. Just an idea, but that's what's kind of fun about using a Vogue is look at all these great images. Look at this Gucci ad. They look like circus characters. So you could make a cool, fun circus page right here on this Gucci ad cover up the words Gucci and put the words circus. You could journal right here. Look at the bottom of it. It's plain and it has lines. So you could take your Posca pen and you could use that right there for journaling. So magazines, upcycling a magazine is a great way to make an art journal instead of buying a buying a pad of paper, a sketchbook pad, you can use a magazine. You do have to put gesso or paint in the background to change it up but it's really super fun it's really super easy so I, what i thought i would do next is just take a page and do one of them take a page and do a page for you so you can see what i'm talking about okay like this girl <laughs> i already see an image with her a very fun image so what i'm going to do with her is I'm going to change that background. It's too blah. I'm going to add some acrylic paints to it. I'm going to start with some white gesso. You can do it with gesso. You can do it without. In fact, I'll do gesso on one side of her and no gesso on the other side of her so that you can see what both of them look like. Here's with gesso and I'm just going to take it and spread it out putting it over the words. It is easier to cover up words if you put gesso over them. That had some words from the ad. Okay, so I'm gonna just, simple like that, put gesso on that page and let it dry. Okay, and then to show you the difference of using gesso or not, I'm gonna take some acrylic paints and on this side, no gesso, just putting down some paint. Show you what it looks like. It works both ways. I've tried it both ways. Sometimes I find that gesso is needed if, if it's an ad that's really hard to cover with paint. And sometimes if there's a lot of words on the page, I use gesso. If there isn't and there's a plain background like this, then, then I'll just use paint. It's personal preference, but Look how easy it is to just 
paint that background with some acrylic paint. And I'm going to take out her purse. I don't want her purse in there. So I'm painting over her purse. That's what's the beauty of this is you can change it any way you want. I'm going to just go around her face. Okay, and then I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to add some paint on the side where I put my gesso. And I'm not being very specific. I like to use more than one color of paint. One color is just too flat. I like it to be artsy fartsy. So, and you can do color blocking. So you could do color like this. And go different directions. Have them go over each other and through each other. I love that. Go around her body. Cool. I like it already. And this is just my first layer, so. But look at how fast I'm transforming. A magazine page into something else. Look at that already. See? Fun. Fun, fun, fun stuff. And I can still see her Christian Dior bag that I'm trying to cover up, so I'm going to put another layer of paint over it. And the layers of paint, like I said, just they just make the page nice and thick and yummy. I love it. When the paint dries, the pages just feel so awesome. I haven't worked in this book in a while or worked in one of these in a while and I really I really enjoy it so I'm gonna pull them back out and start playing and I'm let's see how you can go different directions okay now I can't see that purse and now I've just got her body shape isn't that cool love it so much fun okay and now I'm gonna take a stencil I got this stencil of butterflies at the dollar store which I absolutely love and then this is a Tim Holtz stencil. And I use old magazine pages that I've torn out or magazines that I no longer want. I upcycle them as my palette because then I can easily throw them away. So I'm going to put down some dark paint. I'm using just a cheap cosmetic sponge. You can get those at the dollar store, a whole bag of them for a dollar. And I'm going to do some stenciling on here. So put your stencil down. Bounce on some paint and just add some more interest to that background. Look at how fun that is. Can you see how cool that is? I'll hold it closer in just a sec. So this using a magazine is just a fun and freeing way to play. I mean it just gives you a place where you don't have to be terribly specific or worry about it being perfect it's just a place to come in and play it's a great place when you get new art supplies and you want to try them out but you're not sure how they're going to respond so look at that cool background so look how fun that is i mean we took a we took a ad that was for a purse and we're making it into something completely different just with some acrylic paint and the difference i didn't i really don't feel hardly any difference between the side of the page that is just so and the side that doesn't so in my opinion 
this did take two coats to cover her purse if you gesso it but if you think of gesso and paint that's two coats as well so either way you can use gesso or not gesso does have a little texture so it does add some tooth to it and you can do other things over the top like watercolor and things but it's entirely up to you so here's my fun and interesting background that I created with a stencil. I love it. Let's put some more down here. Going right up to her. Fun. And then I'm going to do a butterfly. Right here. Show you what that looks like. So far, so fun. I love taking an image that's right in the magazine and doing the negative space background and then making her into something different, something special. Her pose and her black turban on her head to me makes her look like a butterfly. I can add some antenna to this part of her. Um, her hat at the this is a picture that's out of Rocky Mountain Gems um, catalog for making jewelry and I just it was a jewelry piece that someone had made and I kept it because I thought that would make a beautiful butterfly sometime or butterfly wings and they would just be absolutely gorgeous for her so what I'm gonna do is cut out those wings and they're going to be her wings on her back. Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, I've cut out my wings. I love that. It looks awesome. And now what I'm going to do is on this one, here, this would attach to her shoulder here, and her shoulder drops down so they'd attach back here. So I'm just going to trim these. I can see that I need to trim from here to here on her body. See, to make it go right there. And then this one, let's see how that looks. Cool. So now I'm just going to glue them on into place. And you can use glue stick, you can use Mod Podge, you can use anything you want to use to glue them on. Um, I'm going to use art glitter glue. Uh, for me, Mod Podge works, but it's a little wet on magazine images. And art glitter glue doesn't take very much glue, so I just put a thin, a thin little bit. It's a nice thick piece of magazine that I'm putting down as a collage piece, so I'm not worried about that pattern showing through especially on something like butterfly wings and then I'm just going to put them in place and press them down and they're going to stick just fine you can even go over these pages with varnish I have done that and then let it dry when it's completely done you can varnish your page it's totally up to you I've done that and I like it not 100% necessary, especially on a art journal page, but it's preference. I mean, you might like sealing your page afterwards with varnish, so do whatever feels right to you. Okay, and on this one, when I trimmed out those wings, it was white in the background, and normally when I fussy cut trim, I do it into the image and this time I left a little bit of that a little bit of that white because I liked how it bordered it. So there's my cute butterfly wings. And then I'm going to take a black Posca pen and I'm going to give her some antenna.
So you just do some doodling. There's her antenna. And on her pants here, I think I'm going to do some doodling and make some lines, some black lines, to make her legs kind of look like how a butterfly body would be. I like that stitched pocket, so I'm leaving it, and I'm just kind of outlining it in black. Posca pens, once you get them started, you don't need to press at all, and the, the paint just flows right out of them. So I'm just going to go through and do some doodling on here, and I'm going to make some black lines to make this look like her legs are part of her butterfly body. And it's fun to just doodle and play. You could zentangle these, make them look really zentangle with cool different intricate designs. I'm just adding some black. A lot of these kind of things are even a uh, Tisha Moore kind of style. If you know who Tisha Moore is, she likes to do this kind of doodling on her pages. See how that's just coming to life? She's starting to look like she's got her butterfly body. And I'm doing this a lot faster than I normally do. I normally take a lot of time and make my doodles night really nice, but for the sake of the video, I don't want it to be too long, so I'm kind of going a little fast. But you're still getting the concept and the idea. Uh, again, I like that she was originally on that magazine page, but now it doesn't look anything like a magazine page. You're making it into a fun piece of artwork. with this some more and then show you what I did and come back and show you the finished page when I'm done. Okay so here she is doodled. I doodled around her. I drew a border all around her. Put on her antennas. So she's got her fun, fun fashion, her cool wings. Um, now to do that cool funky lettering that I like to do, let me show you how you do that. I take my pen and I draw some lines like this and I make them thick and thin. Okay, so there's my lines. And then inside those lines I do a word. So I use my paint pen and I stretch that word. Let me get in frame here so you can see what I'm doing. I stretch that word way out. I make it come to all the edges so it fills up that funky space. You could do it in pencil first if you are not confident in your lettering. But 
It just make your pencil lines really light. So I did the words take flight and then I come back in and I just thicken those up so it shows really well. So I'm going to go in and fill that in and then come back. So there are my words filled in wider. I made them wider, wider and thicker. And now what you can do is go back in and you can add either another line and do some dots or you can take a different color like a white and do some dots to make that really stand out. Paint pens. Poscas are my favorite but you can use any kind of paint pens. They work great on top of acrylic paint for doing this kind of doodling. So look how cute that is. So this is what I do. I just go back in and I do some doodling and I do some positive sayings. I like my books to be filled with positive sayings. You can use them for dark journaling if you're trying to get past something difficult in your life. You can use it for anything you want. It's your art journal so look how cute that is. And then what I always like to do, my, my last thing is borders. I always do a border and I like to even just do a border where I loose handed go around the edge. Not very specific just to frame it in and then I go back over it making sure that I crisscross my lines here and there just for interest there we go and that frames out that page and then you can add some more words So there's my cute page that we did out of a magazine page. So no background. I painted it. I stenciled it. I added some elements to the girl, took away some elements, added some words. And look at that cute art journal page. So I hope this inspired you to play in an old magazine, upcycle those magazines, glue some together to make a nice thick journal, or just use one. You can also um, fold pages in half and make pages that are, you know, glue them and make pages that are layered. So fold this one, then fold this one, and you would have a triple layered page that you could dec decorate in layers. So there's lots of things that you can do. Use those cool fold out ads that are right in the, in the paper, right in the magazine, um, the perfume ads and things like that, but leave it all in. Pull out some pages if you want. Use the images that are in there cover up those backgrounds and do some um, taking away that negative space make them interesting paint on her face zentangle her face all kinds of fun things you can do and make this magazine into your art journal so I gave her some pretty eyelashes I did some color on her lips and added some glossy accents to it to make them pop. I did a glitter earring, so just a dot of glossy accents and some glitter, and just dressed her up. So there's my there's my girl. Take flight, be strong. That's my message. So grab a magazine, upcycle it, make it a journal, and start to play because art will soothe your heart. Have a great day.